Hello children! I'm very glad to see you again. My name is Chopin Kalandarva and I'm your English teacher. I hope you are doing great and ready to learn English. Do you know any proverbs or quotes to describe the picture? Great! It's our strength is in our unity, which is our topic for today. Let's learn new vocabulary. Listen carefully and repeat the words after me aloud. The first picture is a twig. A twig. A bunch of twigs. A bunch of twigs. Unity. Unity. To follow, to follow, advice, advice, strong, strong, it's a regular verb. And it has three forms. Bring, brought, brought. Bring, brought, brought. Fight, fought, fought. Fight, fought, fought. Break, broke, broken. Break, broke, broken. Now, children, we will watch a fairy tale that is called Our Strengths in Our Unity. Take your time and enjoy the cartoon. Once upon a time, there lived an old man who had nine sons. He was very upset because his sons didn't listen to each other and always fought with each other. <laughs> One day, the old man decided to teach them a lesson. He brought nine twigs from the wood and asked his sons to sit in front of him. Then he gave a twig to each son and told them to break it. His sons could easily break a twig. He put all nine twigs into a bunch and gave it to them. The old man told his sons to break the bunch of nine twigs, but nobody could break it. The old man said, If you fight with each other, your enemies will break you as you broke every twig. But if you will be united at this bunch of twigs, you will be strong and nobody can break you because the strength is in our unity. Soon his sons decided to follow their father's advice. They didn't fight with each other and lived happily in unity. Let's do the true-false task to check what you have understood. The first statement, the old man was upset because his sons didn't bring the twigs. Is it true or false? That's right, it's false. Now, do the rest of the task yourself. Good luck!
It's time to check the answers. The old man was upset because his sons didn't bring the twigs. It's false. The old man gave a twig to each son and told them to break it. Great, it's true. Children, do you remember what regular and irregular verbs are? You are given the list of verbs and your task is to divide the given words above into regular and irregular columns. Let's start. Time is up. Check your answers and correct mistakes if you have them. Regular verbs column. Listen, study, follow, watch, knock, finish. Irregular verbs column. Make, break, fight. Drink, bring, and buy. Perfect. Do you remember what the past simple tense is? Last lesson, we learned how to make the positive sentence in the past simple. And today, we will study the negative form of the past simple tense. Let's see how it forms. Firstly, we use subject like I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Then we add didn't to make the sentence negative. And we put the basic form of the verb. For example, he didn't play football yesterday. Let's look at positive and negative forms of past simple tense to have a better idea. She broke her leg last week. We use the second form of the irregular verb broke. But in the negative sentence we use the infinitive or first form of the verb because we have the word didn't. For instance, she didn't break her leg last week. The other examples, he bought a new bicycle yesterday. He didn't buy a new bicycle yesterday. Drink, drank, drank. I drank milk this morning. I didn't drink milk this morning. We made a cake two days ago. We didn't make a cake two days ago. Children, let's watch an interesting video about irregular verbs. Listen carefully and try to repeat aloud all the verbs that you hear in the video. It is me, E.D. Or you can call me Ed. I usually send doing words into the past. But sometimes it does not work. Oh 
no, no. I cannot send these verbs into the past. These words, they must be irregular verbs. That means it is a job for... <laughs> a regular soul! <laughs> On most irregular words, it is the vowel that is changed. Let's change some verbs into the past. <laughs> Get becomes got. Dig becomes dog. Come becomes came. Ah, but if only it was so easy. Irregular Sue is so unpredictable. Strange things happen to words when she is here. Go becomes went. Eat becomes ate. Think becomes thought. I'm a regular Sue. I change words that do. Keep into kept. Leave into left, think into thought, catch into court. I'm a regular Sue. I change words that do. Grow into grown, know into known, send into sent, bend into bent. I'm a regular Sue. I'll change words for you. Make into made, pay into paid, meet into met, got into get. Just like a regular Sue, you'll have to learn too! <laughs> it's time to practice. Make the given sentences negative. For example, Guljan drank coffee will be... Yes, Guljan didn't drink coffee. My mother did the washing up. Good. It's my mother didn't do the washing up. Kairat broke his leg. Good job, Kairat didn't break his leg. I made a cup of tea. Well done, I didn't make a cup of tea. We visited a museum last weekend. Perfect. We didn't visit the museum last weekend. She bought a new dress for the party yesterday. She didn't buy a new dress for the party yesterday. In this task, you need to complete the sentence with the given verb in the bracket in the past simple tense. For instance, my aunt asked this weekend.
My aunt visited us this weekend. I, my homework. Good job. I didn't finish my homework. Tom juice yesterday. Perfect. Tom didn't drink juice yesterday. Julie to music last night. Yes, Julie listened to music last night. We hard for the exam. Good. We studied hard for the exam. He for the bus, but it Yes, he waited for the bus, but it didn't come. Yesterday night, somebody at the door, but I, it. Good job. Yesterday night somebody knocked at the door, but I didn't open it. You are doing great, my dear friends. And now we will listen to a conversation between two friends discussing the trip to Japan. Hi, Peter. Hi, Jennifer. Long time no see. Where were you last month? I went to Japan. What did you come to Japan for? I came to travel. How long did you get there? I was there for more than a month. Didn't you go to work? My company went bankrupt, so I was unemployed. Poor you. Why your company went bankrupt? Due to the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic.
I am so sorry for you. Thank you. Anyway, I have a lot of time for family and traveling. Every cloud has a silver lining. I also have a lot of time to rest and practice basketball. That is good for your health. After being unemployed, I began to have plans for myself. I spent a week exploring the woods near where I live. Did you see many animals there? Yes, of course. I even saw a lion. Let's revise what you have memorized so far. How do we make a negative sentence in the past simple tense? That's right, we just put the word didn't and the infinitive form of the verb. So you did a great job today and I'm very proud of you. Have a nice day. Bye bye.